Hello guys and welcome to Indie Ninja Gaming. I am the Indie Ninja and today we are back again with some more Epic Chef. Now I was in the middle of doing some of my off-camera stuff, you know, uh, stocking up the resources, just, just coming into town to sell some apple wood and apples, um, when this event happened. So I figured, obviously I want to show this on camera, so here we are. So literally I just got here, there was an explosion and the word blam. What's all that noise? I think it came from the plaza. Hey, pro progressor. <laughs> hey. Well, and how did that experiment go? <laughs> Decently. Decently, are you sure? <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> well, we managed to perfect an essence extractor. I have the plans right here. I see. And there are no snags of any kind? All within acceptable parameters. <laughs> Is that my ghost potato? Then that giant potato monster thing must be the spawn of another group of demented occultists. Do you want your stupid spectral spud or not? Ghost Tato sounds better. Call it whatever you want, just take the plans and go. You shouldn't experience any secondary effects. I keep that in mind. I wish you luck explaining all this in the experiment report. Actually, we have a standard form. To be honest, I won't even need to mark the other incidents checkbox. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, and a new thing could mix as well. Oh, so that wasn't my, okay. Ah, the gentleman who helped us with the experiment. I was wondering if, we could, if I could buy some more cow essence, but the shop seems to be uh, going through hard times. Well, yes, I can prepare a few of them for you if you pay for the materials. Okay, so that's all I can buy right now from them, from the witch shop, but it's fine. I just, I just came in town literally, like I said. make some money. And this is a couple of bits of leftover wood I had. There we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't grab any rats actually like I said I would. Uh, that was the only thing I was missing so I'm gonna grab some of them and then I'll meet you back at the homestead ready to build this mixer. Alright well I'm back at the villa. Uh, I did start doing some more food. I don't know. I haven't checked over there yet. Uh, these are the mandrakes. Oh, look at them. They look so pretty. We'll get to them soon. Put in some storage for the meat and the milk. I got one milk this morning. In game. What the hell is going on there? Okay, guys. I don't know what's going on with that. and But it only appears to be doing it in here. Uh, I, I slept to save, I um, went back to main menu, I loaded up, it's still doing it, but only in there, so I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, but anyway, let's try and move on if we can, so we need three quality planks for this mixer, so of course that's three apple trees, three oak trees. Might as well get the uh, XP by harvesting, then just collecting out of the, the wood chest there. big this is let's see where we can put this thing I could probably line it up down there to be honest with you so 
that way. How far back can we place it? That's as far back as we can. That's right, we've got room to get through. Still plenty of room. Get a bus through that gap. What do we have in here? Ground, ground beef. Two beef, or two cow meat, two milk. It's got a nice synergy to it. That will mix with seaweed really well. Hold on, so if I did, let me, I'm, I'm just going to work this out real quick. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, 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 that, that, oh my god, that would be awesome. What else have we got? Special dough. Oh, we can make a cog item now. On its own, it gives you a boost to that as well. Ah, the ghost tato. Synergies with rice. Oh, oh, okay, we can now make it. Oh, that's sweet. Um, okay, so a two to one ratio. I don't know how many rounds this is going to be. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, four potatoes. Really didn't mean to grab that mushroom. One, two, three, and four. Probably going to be three rounds, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to want to put one of these in over here. Cog and grass. Isn't that what the... Um, special dough was yes it is okay so if we make up a couple of these then I think it was carrots as well to make a fourth one don't I just to put it in that chest just to get easy access to recipes or synergies it helps us to, to figure out like how it's gonna turn out roughly so we know what kind of sauce we're gonna need if it's not a, a special judge one Right, so, uh, start off with that, gives you a seven figure. And we put, so we start off with, so that will give us a total of like 11, 8 and 3. And we'll chuck that in. So eleven eight three. So that's twelve eleven nine. And then it'll become twelve sixteen nine. Then you chuck that in. Twelve twenty four uh twenty one thirty one thirty six. 12, 24, 36. That's not bad. I don't know, of course, what kind of sauce we'll need, if any. Hmm. Is that new? I 
kind of want to do that. Okay. I'm just prepping some stuff, yeah. First dish. Why not? I saw that. First dish, I won't get the bonus, but the next two, I will. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prep all these sauces, guys, and then we'll be right back again. See you in just a sec. Alright, guys. Well, I think I've created everything. Uh, I decided to go for an extra video in the first first sauce, the one. No, sorry. It'll have to be round one, round two, and then round three. But yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, so currently our mission, before we go off and try to do this thing, is we need to give the ghost taco to the ghost. I mean, that was the whole point of all of this in the first place, wasn't it? Oh my, God, I like that. Look at those little trails, look. Meow. Good news, I found a solution to your problem right here. You have already. I expected more. I mean, that's some truly expended... Splendid news, my worthy descendant. May I see it? Of course, here. This? This is a potato. It's sort of a... Well, the ghost of a potato. I'll call it a ghost potato. I figured that you could solve your hunger problems with this. You, you expect me to eat this? Yeah, you said you were hungry, right? That should fill your spectral belly. That's not what I meant, you buffoon. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I was talking about my hunger for the ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death. It's not my fault if you like to use convoluted language and expect people to understand what you're saying. You really thought a ghostly apparition materialised in this world to ask you for a potato? Hey, how was I supposed to know? Considering the local obsession with food, an undead entity looking for a snack pretty much fits right in. And you're a spectre, not a ghost. Well, any idiot would have known I wasn't really lit I wasn't talking literally, and they're the same thing. No, they're not. A ghost has no conscience of its own. It's sort of a memory acting automatically, whereas a spectre is a conscien conscious being. You pulled a definition out of your ass. Most people agree that they are interchangeable. Oh, really? I thought that someone so hungry for ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death would use a bit more specific terminology instead of being his lexic on what most people say. So you want to get technical, eh, smartass? If anything, I'm a spirit. See? That's more spectry than ghosty. Hmm. How do you know all this anyway? I did some studying back home. There is no back home. This, this is your home. You need to answer. You need to answer to the call of your bloodline. This again. In my unending quest for uh, for forbidden knowledge, I was inescapably forced to foolishly unleash unspeakable in evil. England? <laughs> I don't know why. I was about to turn around and say, I was <laughs> inescapably forced to foolishly unleash unspeakable England on this victimised land. <laughs> Don't ask, guys. Don't ask. The Underdigger. A poisonous spawn capable of swallowing a mountain whole. Growing wild underneath. Relentlessly corrupting the tainted earth with its venomous tentacles. Wait. Is that thing some sort of animal? A plant. But not just a, any meagre vegetable. It's a prodigious monstrosity. A macabre spawn her 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 heretically brought back, that's the one, from the era of the myth. Of myth. Ah, oh, you mean vines or tendrils or whatever. Not tentacles. And what's more with the adjective bombing? Are you trying to impress me? I'm trying to warn you about the dangers of this land so you don't end up getting dragged to a horrible death. But sure, do get lost on technicalities. Be my guest. I guess at least you, you'll die with a smug smile on your face. Point very taken. Please do go on. What else is dangerous around here? Big, uh, I mean, creatures of formidable voracity lurk in this land. Tenor spiders. Em 
implacable predators whose screams of doom will haunt your nightmares. That sounds pretty serious. Worry not, I enslaved them to guard the ruin. They have been magically sustained for decades and bound to an obedience field. I shall only devour those foolish enough to enter the forbidden ruins. And elves, of course. Elves? Yes, elves. What, are you an elf lover? Well, not a lover, just, you know, not a murderer. Elves are evil. We're at war with them, da with their damn homo ah. homogeny, for good reason. Homogeny, yeah. Sorry, guys, hang up my glasses on today. He, uh, one of the lenses fell out. The homogy sucks, true, but they seem to have left us alone for a decade now. The homogy will come back like they always do. It's been a constant. They want to make us kneel again like in olden times. If you find an elf in Concordia, he's more likely to be a deserter or someone born here. They still have no damn business snooping around my property. Post up aware with the spider sign if you're so worried. Okay, I make sure no one gets close to the ruins and no, no one with pointy ears enters my property in any case. Oh, in any case, what's this about the forbidden ruin? Oh God, come on. The object of my obsession lies within an ancient temple dating from the era of myth, from when Temperus walked amongst us and lit his flame in the darkness. It is said to hold a gateway to the land of the gods, guarded by a dragon. There's a dragon down there, and people are worried about the ghost of an old man. Worry not about the dragon, for the ruins were sealed as I expired my last breath by the same spell that bound my spirit to this world. I see. Very reassuring. And what about the bird? The bird? Yes, the giant chicken that keeps screaming and waking me up if from my sleep. I don't know, must just be a bird. Yeah, well, it's making my life hell. Do you know how I could get rid of it? Look, that bird is not important. The family curse is what matters. The seal I cast upon my death has kept the ruin free of intruders. Now that you're here, we can get inside. But first, you'll need to recover the root of domination. <laughs> we are powerless without it. We have a lot to do, my descendant, a lot to do. Yeah, about that. Well, I don't think I'm related to you. I just brought the property from a woman I met in Uranus. She seemed very eager to, be, to get rid of the place. What? This has to be some sort of mistake. The deed was clear on the urgency of the matter. Well, she very specifically said, screw that old bastard. I don't know. I didn't know what she meant at the time. But, but, my lineage. I'm sorry to hear that really, but, uh, well, the place is now legally mine. So if you'd like to be so kind as to take your horns in somewhere else, I'll be very grateful. How dare you? I built this place out of nothing, and you cannot simply kick me out like some sort of pathetic bum. I'm beyond your comprehension, you hear? I defeated death itself. Leave this place now, or you'll wish you'd never been born. You are powerless against my undying wrath. Please don't burn the painting. It was all a misunderstanding. I'm a good fellow. We can be friends. Yes, friends. Will you drop that tone? Yes. And you'll stop using the scary face? Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm not all that happy about having a spectre around, but I'm also not the kind of person who enjoys evicting old people out of their homes. You can stay here if you don't cause any trouble. I'll be good, I'll be good. Fine then. Maybe we'll do, be able to do a thing or two about these curses. Perhaps start by getting rid of that demonic geranium and the spider security force. There's nothing we can do about them without the rod of domination. And the one I had was lost long ago. I thought you knew about it the first time we spoke, but instead you came back with an undead potato. Try to think of something then, but I definitely wouldn't be the guy who walks around asking for a rod of domination. <laughs> yes, God forbid anyone thought you might be a strange person. <laughs> uh, well, I had wanted to go into this chef battle this episode, but that took up quite a bit of time. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and going to save right now. I'm going to sleep and save, end of the episode. 
And then tomorrow we will head straight out to go and face uh, that chef. Alright guys, well I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate and comment below. And like I said, tomorrow we're going to go take on Chef... Chef, I can remember his name. Torpedo? Something like that. It's like a uh, Orc Mafia person. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a, and I will see you next time. I am the... Uh, apparently can't talk. I am the Indian Ninja. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.